Well, you can tell by the cockeyedness of the screen that we must be on the plasma. And because the plasma's fucked, we must be on the C64. Not a C64, the C64. Now, uh, that didn't really work as I expected. Maybe there's tape control somewhere, but I haven't found him. Right, so. This was the original intended use for the C64 full time. To uh, load tape games with a tape loader. And I probably should have uh, gone with a Tapuino for a real C64. But I didn't. And uh, a good thing too, if you want to play C64 tape games with the tape loader and everything, uh, on the big telly, isn't it? I can't buy a new telly because uh, new tellies are only for spastics because they only have HDMI sockets. It's a sign of a spastic. Why would you need anything other than a HDMI sockets? Because I'm not a prick like you, mate. Maybe I haven't got RGB in it. Actually, I haven't tested the uh, SCAR RGB input, but the composite input is uh, definitely shafted, so... Well, it could be the uh, SCAR adapter. Hmm, I'll have to see if I can find enough one. So I played the uh, Plus 4 version of this. Uh, the recent homebrew. That's actually really nice and colourful. Uh, however, there's some annoying weirdness going on with the sound. See, the, the music is not actually that loud from the TV. However, this is a large TV and the sound does fill the room. What are you looking for, Aslan? He's got more about in it. Let's make the screen a little bit less cockeyed. Oh, and the extra tilt has uh, worked in our favour. So I thought this would be a good test for the C64. Now, there must be a way to control the tape motor, I would imagine, because how would you play the multi-load games? What's the point of having a shift key and a, a stop key, aka run stop, uh, if there's no way to actually start the cassette motor? That's a bit dumb. But then the people who made this thing are a bit, bit millennial, let's put it that way. They may not actually be millennials. They may be, be born before 1989. Or 1990, I suppose, if they're female. I suspect they're all male, though. As far as the people who own the company go. Not the people who work there. So this is the best bat and ball game on the C64. It's got really nice soundtrack with some samples and some uh, freaky use of the uh, SID registers. Uh, but it's also a good test for the uh, the joystick you have to use. I'm not using a USB joypad. I'm not a prick. It's uh, down to uh, retro games to uh, sort that out. They should have put a fucking uh, real set of Atari joystick ports on there, mate. Real one! So I can plug in my zipstick. That's their failure. 
and looking at how much they're fucking charging for the uh, Amiga 500 Mini, it's almost as much as uh, the C64 full size, isn't it? It's a lot of money for a piece of shit, bit of plastic, which is stupidly small, it's going to be uh, barely the size of a Commodore tank mouse. Right, select option using first. A good, I thought it was a joystick pull up. Paddles would go in joystick pull one, so we can't actually play this. Uh, uh, I don't play it with keyboard, what's the point? I can play it on keyboard on my fucking PC. Uh, uh, I hope it hasn't gone to a mouse control. I wonder why they remove paddle controls from Arkanoid 2. Yeah, it don't work in it. So the Neos mouse must be plugged into port 2 then. Oh, I'm actually doing better than usual already. What's my cat doing in the window? The bloody thing moved there for a second. Ah, it's annoying. There are quick key. No. Don't, hey, don't knock the boxes, you. What's the matter? Hey, hey, no, 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 go away from the boxes, don't. Uh -huh. Can you say, mate? Uh, as if uh, copying uh, thousands of files and uh, splitting them up into small enough directories is not a pain in the arse enough. You have to fuck about again, go back to a horrible computer from the modern era. And they're all horrible, and if you don't agree, you're a prick. Again, End of discussion. I don't know why you're on my channel if you think modern computers are anything like as good as an Amiga 1000. They are not, mate. Uh, and then uh, put underscore J1. I think they've uh, put in some clunky sort of, uh, you know, bodge to get round that in the uh, latest firmware update. But, uh, So this is the last life of player two. It's amazing how much of the game you can do without actually even touching the controls. I'm like Luke Skywalker using the force. I'm the soundtrack sounds fine, so it's really the joystick problem that's a thing. So I don't actually. Uh, How do I change the uh, device business? Right, okay, so it should actually work now. So we've got two devices for two players, so... Well, I said two devices and I pressed uh, J for joystick, so... We'll see how we get on like this. It's all about the workaround. 
Okay, player one definitely is a joystick pull too. Yeah, this was a massive cock up by Retro Games. Should have two Atari joystick balls <coughs> and they should be mapped individually to joystick port one and two in the end later. Right, we can actually play. Excuse me, bud, ski. No, oh, no. My cat squeezing down the side of the armrest and I didn't want to kill him, obviously. See, the other guy's got more bloody uh, points than me and uh, didn't, can't even move the uh, paddle on that. Alright, let's go. Let's start the rubbish uh, review. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't actually like this game with joystick, but this joystick is even worse than usual. Yeah, nah, yeah. Just get a real C64. Yeah, nah, the screen's all moved again, isn't it? No, it should be uh, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. It's a multi-load, so I'm not really sure how we're going to uh, do the old turn it around business. It's quite a late game for the C64. I thought maybe this would be easier test, didn't it? Because... Uh, Controlling Arkanoid with a joystick needs a perfectly working C64 and a really good joystick, otherwise it's just fucking shit. <laughs> Buy a paddle controller. I had paddle controllers anyway because I had a VCS before C64. So. But I never had Arkanoid, so. And you can't use paddle controllers with the TTG for full size. I reckon James Rolfe would like this tune. I don't know if he'd like the uh, cover tape demo from Commodore User, I believe it is, for Dominator, the specific loading music for that. Which is not in the release version of the game, so it's another excuse not to buy it. Save ten pounds. I think by then, probably two weeks pocket money, because all my siblings were older than me. So when, uh, yeah, no, shit was getting more expensive. Five years earlier, if like I don't know, a sister had. Well, I don't know, three pound a week? Yeah, well, five years earlier, crisps were half the price, mate, and so were comics. So I argued it up to five quid. So. Damn right, I'm a coma baby, I'm a lad. That's a horrible picture. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I must admit, loading screens seem to get worse as time went on. If you take Kickstart by Mastertronic first. Yeah, I haven't done the Mastertronic directory yet. I'm trying not to get screen burn on my plasma, thank you. I can't remember if this is technically... Uh, Ocean Loader 4 or 5 now. Ocean Loader 4 I know is the uh, Robocop loader. I think Batman is the other one I know that's different. Go and check it on my channel. Go and stick it all over the fucking spastic social media networks as well. See if I give a shit. Well they're going to have a shock if they got this far in the video. Oh no, I could. Facebook and Instagram for spastic. I'm gonna unsubscribe. Uh, yeah, whatever, mate. Fuck off. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I need to buy a Katharina actually. And simply because I have to use this piece of shit. And I can't use this piece of shit. Yeah, you can't bloody see. It. There you go. Looks weird when you put the knob towards the camera. Weird! You should never put your knob towards the camera. That's another thing spastics used to do all the time. Yes, mate, you think I don't know? That's what I used to say to uh, other blokes on uh, certain ISPs that had chat rooms. I used to name and shame all the fucking losers on there, mate. Ah, he's really not. Yeah, you should have seen what he sent to my sister, mate. What? Yeah, I fucked up a lot of uh, casual sex for those uh, fucking uh, knobheads on a, a certain ISP with uh, chat rooms built into the software. Naming no names, although the woman in the advert, she was quite nice. Especially when she cut her hair short. But in an ugly sort of way. She definitely weren't as ugly as uh, was named. Uh, the youngest daughter in uh, Game of Thrones, Stark daughter. Yeah, I never really uh, thought about whether this game is uh, multi load or not. No! I'm pressing fire, you cocksucker. So we're zero out of two already. Why do I have to start it with uh, joystick port one? This ain't gonna work anyway. Crap! Just get a real C64, you cunt. Guess what piece of shit we're using again. Okay. I did actually... Um Didn't work too well. Maybe it was in the middle of a reset cycle. No, nah, it won't fucking load it. Okay. I've had this before. Fucking uh, taps that refuse to load. Which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now. Nah. And uh, I can't get the fucking uh, tape drive to work. So, uh, zero out of three. It's a fucking disaster. Hang on a minute. Device settings. No. Let's exit to carousel mode and do it from there then. Although I don't see why it wouldn't work that way. Keep going in, oh, you stupid piece of shit. Guess we're in the imagined directory then. No, nothing to do with what I'm doing. Exit game, what fucking game? Didn't even fucking load it. Ugh. They're all rubbish. Let's check out some uh, elite games. Let's try, uh, oh, what should we try, eh? Not that long ago, I played most of these actually. Well, Commando is probably going to kick off um, some sort of copyright thing for living on video. I think they're called Trans X. Not sure actually.
Nothing wrong with the uh, USB stick there. I'll let you enjoy the music and it'll tell you how long it takes to load it for. Certainly not the fastest loading game in the world but it takes up a lot of memory.
right. I see this has loaded nicely. God damn it, we've got something to work on this piece of shit. No trainer options, nothing mate. No fucking crap throws. Slight <laughs> problem with the rubbishness of uh, the joystick here, that's all. That was my fault, fair enough. Wait! Ah, we didn't get the general, didn't it? Big city. Ah, come on, mate. Ah, uh, cool. You're going to have to fail this game as well. It's very sad music. And it's sad so zero out of three because I have to use this piece of shit joystick and some dumb cunt at Retro Games did not put a fucking rapid fire option in it. Even though almost every joystick from 1984 onwards Compatible with a C64 had rapid fire built in. Go figure. Duh, duh. Let's just put that competition pro USB rubbish joystick in the box for the. Uh, the fucking. The whole thing is ruined, mate. It's all fucking fucked.